Hi everyone, my name is Ms. Hale and I'm the lead school counselor here at K-12 Private Academy. And I just wanted to go over a few quick tips on the course selection process for the upcoming school year. Um, as you know, over the past two weeks, we have been doing a lot of reread sessions and we are open for enrollment for uh, the 2023-2024 school year. Um, you've seen in Class Connect uh, different sessions. Uh, if you're in lower school, um, preparing for middle school. If you're in middle school going to high school, we uh, do have a rising ninth grader session and then individual um, grade level sessions as well. So a first tip is obviously reviewing those course lists, right? So they will be published on our website soon. And um, we have been explaining a couple of the differences that we've had from this year uh, to next year. Um, there's been some changes with AP, um, offering a different pathway in strike career prep um, and dual enrollment. Lots and lots of choices and courses for you guys to, to look at and review. The options are endless, right? Um, and you will work with your ASE on, on that course list and then making a plan. So getting to making a plan, um, you want to think about your interests, right? And the subjects that you are best at and definitely challenge yourself. So if you are planning to go to college after high school, um, Increasing your rigor every year is important to um, college admissions. So just keep on challenging yourself as you get through um, ninth to 12th grade. And it's never too early to start, even in middle school, right? So in middle school, you could start with Algebra 1, or if you wanted to take um, some strike career prep classes, uh, that will give you early access to a high school credits as well. Um, so for example, say you're really good at math, but maybe not so great at English. So perhaps you want to maybe take a challenging, a more challenging math course because you know that um, math is your subject, but maybe English isn't. So perhaps maybe an AP math and then maybe sticking with a regular English, right? If you can handle it and then balancing your other courses accordingly, um, your electives. So you're going to take your four core courses and then choose electives to go along with that. Um, so just diving into your interests and then making sure you challenge yourself on those classes that, that are easy, which um, comes to our next tip is making a plan, right? So creating a plan for each semester and having a good balance of those hard and easy courses. So you don't want to save all of your hard courses for, say, your senior year or one semester. You want to you wanna balance them out. So if you aren't so good at English, maybe you want to take um, English next year with with a bunch more electives rather than um, cramming in AP honors or dual enrollment courses, right? So just make sure that you balance yourself on, you know, time management stuff, your ACs will work on different skill sets and things like that if you struggle in that area. And when in doubt, ask for help. So um, turn to your teachers, your learning coaches, your ASCs, and um, me, your school counselor, along with Mrs. McCann, the counselor for strike career prep, and Mrs. B. Saul Fowler, we're all here to help you. Um, your current teachers and your past teachers know your strengths and your weaknesses. So that's a good place to start for sure, is um, asking them what they suggest, um, what classes they think that you should take or that you'd be good at if they recommend you for AP, if they recommend you for honors or dual enrollment, right? Um, so definitely ask. Um, if you're unsure, right? So we talked about interests. If you're still not sure what you're interested in, what you wanna do after high school, if you wanna to go to college, what you wanna major in, um, don't be afraid to try something new or something that you're curious about. So now's the best time to explore. Most colleges now want you to apply automatically um, to the college of the major that you're choosing, right? So um, if it's business or engineering, something like that, they prefer you to, to say it right at the beginning instead of undecided because they don't want, really want you to deter for that. It helps them with their numbers on knowing um, who they need staff for, for different things. So keep that in mind that right now it's not gonna hurt you to explore. Um, maybe when you get into college, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So say you are up in the air about engineering and maybe hospitality. Um, if you're part of Strike Career Prep, um, there's so many opportunities for you to explore those different careers, talk to um, people who are in those industries one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. There's job shadowing. Um, Mrs. McCann and um, Mrs. Day do a fantastic job on making sure that um, 
you're connected with people that, that can answer questions about, about a job that you're interested in. So if that's something that you want to do and you want to explore, try career prep is really good for you. Um, also Naviance. So we work a lot with Naviance and there's a lot of career assessments and, and tips in there that will help you. And you will see that um, in our sessions. Uh, if you're new, you haven't seen them yet, we will work with them a lot um, next year as well. Or you can just go ahead and log into Naviance and take those career assessments and it'll um, assign you different career clusters and you can look at different jobs all around in that cluster, say if you're really good at helping people, you know, so that could lead you anywhere from, from counseling to healthcare um, and then learning all what you need education wise in order to get to that career. So Naviance is a good, good tool, good tool as well. If you're, if you're unsure about what, what you want to do and what you're interested in. And lastly, meeting with your ASC. So that's your academic success coach. Um, if you haven't heard from them, from them already, you will. Um, you're going to do a one-on-one -on -one meeting with them to finalize courses for next year and answer any questions you may have. Maybe even taking um, summer courses if you want to get ahead or when we talked about challenging yourself and those hard classes and easy courses, maybe something that you're really um, good at, you can cram over the summer and get that out of the way, right? To make the balance for the rest of your semesters good to go and having a good flow. Um, if you're interested in stride career prep or AP courses or dual enrollment, you can definitely let your ASC know about that as well. We're more than happy to help you and to pass you off to the right people to get you signed up. So ultimately, um, review those course lists, think about your interests, make a plan it's never too late to to start planning even if you're in middle school um ninth grade going going up to 12th grade making a plan for every year um just look at those course lists and and figure out what you want to do ask for help we are here for help as long along with your lc and your teachers keep that in mind your teachers are are your first advocate and know your strengths and weaknesses right and then you're going to meet with your ASC. Um, we are also going to have a family um, grade level planning night. And that's the first week of May. So May 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. And that's going to be with me, Mrs. McCann, and Mrs. Saul Fowler. We're going to do um, a middle school session. So we invite all of your um, learning coaches, uh, anybody that would like to attend and learn more about middle school and, and what we offer um, for rising ninth graders, uh, how to get involved and how to be successful in high school. Um, 10th and 11th, 12th, we'll, we'll review the college application process and how to stay on task every year. But um, as I mentioned earlier, a key key to that is making a plan, right? Um, viewing that grad plan, and once you're in high school, viewing it uh, twice, a, twice a year, once a semester, right? To see the credits that you need and credits that are earned. Um, and things like that. So I look forward to working with all of you and you will meet with your ASC soon. Take care and um, can't wait to see what you guys do in the future. Thank you.